What's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. Today, we'll be taking a look over here at the Bitcoin price chart. I have some interesting things to show you in relation to the stock market. As you can tell, my voice has returned. The sound of ultimate manliness has returned. Thank you all for tolerating that for the last week. Fortunately, during that time, not a whole lot changed over here on the Bitcoin price chart or in the altcoin market, not making it really a critical time to have to record videos. Yesterday, we did see a little bit of a fall here on Bitcoin that also translated in the altcoin market as well as this range has been taken and we're kind of on the bottom end of the range now at this point. And it's hard to believe now, here we are, December 8th, which means we're one month after everything crazy happened back there with FTX. When the big plunge took place, it was there on November 8th. Of course, a lot of us are sitting on the edges of our seats because if we remember correctly, go back to when Luna and UST collapsed, how much time elapsed before the contagion spread and before things started getting out of control, about one month. So where do we sit right now? Right there at the end. But there was something interesting I was diving into this morning that I wanted to show with you when it came to the behavior of Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market and the stock market, or in particular, the one I always like to look at, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. This moment in time right here is your Luna and UST collapse. This moment right here is your contagion, where you have your Celsius, three arrows capital, all that good stuff. But what's interesting there is if you notice, there's actually a correlation happening in here with the stock market at the exact same time. So I wanted to show something interesting going on right now and kind of go back to some of the things we've talked about in the last couple of months as we noticed how Bitcoin had really followed along with what happens at ending capitulations and that this was similar to what a Wyckoff accumulation ending would look like in here before finally then going into the spring. So never out of the game plan that we would actually end up coming back down to the lows again in the spring phase of a Wyckoff accumulation. However, Bitcoin has obviously done something on its own. And it brought me back to looking at this Dow Jones Industrial Average chart to show how we have been so correlated to the stock market because I saw something posted over there on Twitter saying that like FDX and Alameda Research, they were using some type of algorithm to manipulate markets to really get it correlated with the stock market. I have no way to prove that to be true or not true, but it got me, of course, saying, well, wait a minute. We've always noticed that Bitcoin is correlated to the stock market. What's it look like right now? And obviously, in this accumulation schematic, in this Wyckoff accumulation fractal, the things that we were looking for was to go back and take out the height of back there in August before the spring would come in which for Bitcoin is right back over here. This is August. So to at least come over here, take it out before spring begins. And what we've seen happen over here in the Dow Jones Industrial Average is that it has continued to go and do that and to take out that height right there on August. However, Bitcoin went the opposite direction. And if we look through this, we look through all this price behavior that has happened in here for Bitcoin, the correlation between the two is staggering. Going back to earlier this year in January, when we just had these rises and these falls, and then finally it breaks down and you have the Luna and UST collapse, the stock market's doing the exact same thing. It pauses for one month. And then what do we have? Contagion in the cryptocurrency market. However, the Dow Jones was doing the same thing at the exact same time. Dow Jones finds its bottom. Bitcoin finds its bottom. Then they both work up together. Then they continue this accumulation schematic. However, for the first time right in here, Bitcoin has gone on and done something totally different from the stock market, which has not been the case all along. And we all sit here and we say Luna and UST and Celsius and three euros capital and all that stuff. But it's interesting, unquestionably, to see the timing of how the Dow Jones was falling identically at the same time, finding its bottom in June, rising until August just like Bitcoin, to come down. And then as we go back in, as we had suspected for Bitcoin, a decoupling happens here in the cryptocurrency market from the stock market, where the stock market does go on and take out that August height. However, crypto, opposite way. For the first time, all year long, 
And I'm not the one to sit here and be like, you know, we, we've got to be super, you know, coupled to the stock market on a day to day basis or on a minute to minute basis. I look at it from a much bigger perspective view. But over this last year, the correlations have been staggering. Um, even like during Fed meetings, you'll see that on the one second chart, five second chart, how correlated Bitcoin would be to the Dow Jones industrial average during things like Fed minutes and Fed meetings is that each pop that would happen in the Dow, Bitcoin would do it too. And then they'd turn over together at the exact same time. So we zoom out on this thing and, and these lines right here, obviously the stock market is not 24 seven, but Bitcoin is. But really kind of whatever's happening to the stock market during open hours is what's happening to Bitcoin during open hours as well. And that's how it's been for quite some time. And it's really almost been like on the one minute time frame. If you get really close on time frames on these, astonishingly similar. But even outside of price behaving like on the super short term time frames, looking at the bigger, broader trend, the behavior is very similar. And what we have happening here right now with Bitcoin and crypto is a decoupling. That hasn't happened all year long. Look at every move that has happened in here on what every price pop, every price drop, all the same thing. Luna collapse, Celsius collapse. Look at these bottoms. Look at the price behavior down in here at the bottoms of the Dow Jones and of Bitcoin. And then they go up together and then they fall together. This rise that happened for Bitcoin back in September where it goes from 18.5 up to 22.9, 22.8. Right there, Dow Jones turns over, goes down. So not just on like the one minute, five minute, 10 minute, 15 minute charts, but also on the bigger time frames, we have been correlated with the Dow Jones insanely well up until this point. Rather than continuing into an accumulation schematic to go into spring, as the Dow Jones did, we fall apart. And I think this is just really interesting to notice because if you if you thought in the back of your mind on like Luna and UST and everything, at least I would be, I'd be like, yeah, that was kind of its own event happening in the cryptocurrency market. However, that was also happening in the Dow. And then a month later, when everything happened with Celsius and Three Arrows Capital, it was also happening in the Dow at the exact same time. The price action that occurred in crypto was not isolated to crypto. It was still exactly tied to the Dow Jones at that time. Crypto did not decorrelate during those events. It was still correlated. But notice this action we're talking about right in here, where we could see even these correlations happening in here with these dips before it eventually starts working its way up and turning over. Look at how price behavior is acting in here. There's no correlation happening in here during this time frame and this time frame once the decoupling happens. Now, will they regain their correlation to each other from here? That's the big question. But the, the crazy part is that they've been so correlated this entire time and now after FTX collapses, after all those liquidations happen for the first time ever, it didn't even happen during Luna and UST and Three Arrows Capital and Celsius, they didn't decorrelate. Right now, we are decorrelated. So why is that kind of interesting to talk about? Well, like we just talked about at the beginning of the video, we've now reached this one month period since everything happened with FTX. What we saw happen last time was after one month, additional contagion spread and things really fell apart in the market. And now we're at that phase now being November 8th to December 8th. Are we waiting for that moment to appear? But what I wanted to show, because I don't have the answer for that, but what I wanted to show was during this moment in time when that did happen, when this fall occurred one month later, it was also timed with the stock market. It was not isolated to cryptocurrency only. We were still in correlation with the stock market at that time. And the stock market was moving down at the exact same times. And right now there's been a decorrelation for the first time in over a year. And that when our contagion did happen in crypto back in June, it also was correlated with the stock market. And the initial fall with Luna and UST was also correlated with the stock market. But the thing that makes this time unique is that we have done something different than the stock market for the first time in 2022. So it really adds another wrench into the interpretation of Bitcoin versus the Dow Jones Industrial Average, because a lot of people will take this as a celebration, right? They'll say, ha, 
we're finally decorrelated. It doesn't matter what the stock market does. But the question is, is this just like a temporary decorrelation due to a black swan happening? And then the correlation will regain itself at some point. And then a lot of our interpretations, including mine, was being how much contagion was involved in this actually happening here in crypto for that second leg down after one month. However, it's very obvious on here, the timing of it was identical with the stock market. It was not an isolated event to crypto. It was an event that happened along with stocks, along with the index of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. There's your contagion event. This moment, this moment. So as we reach the 30 days, as we were getting, getting to over here, we've seen a decorrelation from the stock market, but will it regain correlation? That's the challenge right now. These are the things that are different that are happening in the market. We have a decorrelation from the Dow Jones, and we've seen the US dollar currency index getting wrecked, yet Bitcoin still set a new low while the FTX collapse happened. While the accumulation schematic of Bitcoin's Wyckoff accumulation would take it to take out the August high before going into spring, we went and took out lows while the Dow Jones did go and do that. It did go take out that August high. So the literal moment we're in right now is super unique in regards to DXY turning down, decorrelation from the stock market. Will there be a contagion continuation? But at the same time, we noticed the contagion that happened, at least what we thought was the cause of the price falling in June as being contagion, was happening in the stock market at the exact same time. And so then comes all the theory building and the speculation on, well, what happens next, right? Do we regain correlation or does it have to play catch up or, you know, is correlation already built back in? Is the Dow Jones going to fall from here and Bitcoin's going to fall with it? Or does Bitcoin actually need to play the catch up game and get correlated back to the Dow Jones and get back to the 702 retracement with the rest of the cryptocurrency market? And that'll be kind of a working theory that I'll be building on over the course of the next couple of weeks. But as today is the 30 day anniversary of when the FTX collapse happened and they filed for bankruptcy, we saw what happened earlier this year where the contagion continued on beyond that moment. We've now reached that amount of time of when that actually began. But I also wanted to show the nuance in that in interpreting it as being that it was contagion that caused that fall because that moment in time all took place right in here. And that this is the moment where Luna and UST collapsed. We're looking at the Dow Jones. This is where Luna and UST collapsed. And then this is where the contagion continued in the crypto market. And we think of the prices being so aggressive and chaotic for Bitcoin in the crypto market and contagion was taking over. But look what was happening in the Dow Jones. Each day, we were seeing several hundred points down. You saw 549 points down. And then the next day, after closing at the bottom of the candle, gapped down and then continued and closed at the low again. So that very next day was down almost 900 points. Then it gapped again overnight, falling a total of 865 the next day. So you had these three days of absolute insanity happening here in the Dow Jones Industrial Average at the exact same time of the contagion of Celsius collapsing, BlockFi, Three Arrows Capital, all that stuff, all that contagion was happening while the Dow was gapping down with 500 to 900 point losses every day. So was it just contagion or was it the broader market causing this to happen while the contagion took place? That's the big question. That's the issue we're facing with right now is we reach 30 days. But as we can see at that point, we were in this downtrend, downtrend for the Dow Jones. And as we can see, we've been working our way back up and the Dow Jones has gotten back to 702. So these are the things we have the problem with because at this moment is where Bitcoin decorrelated and things changed. And I can switch these to show that this is Bitcoin in here here is the Dow Jones. Here are, these, here are these three gaps down that we're talking about right there. Those were all happening during the perceived contagion moment happening for crypto. And now we've had a decorrelation happen due to FTX. And crazy enough, you look at the altcoin market, of course, it's correlated as well. So the big question comes, is the correlation gone where it doesn't matter what the Dow does anymore? Will the Dow fall taking crypto with it? Or is there an epic catch-up game that has to happen with crypto for the recorrelation to emerge? Each person has to take their own guess. I don't know which one will happen, 
But my guess is recorrelation. That's the way I'm placing my bets. But what an interesting time for it to be to see for the first time in 2022, price action acting different in crypto than the stock market. And for years, I've had to battle against people saying, hey, we're not correlated to the stock market. It is unbelievably correlated to the stock market. It always has been. For the first time, we see a decorrelation happening. But of course, we had an epic event happen in crypto at that time with one of the biggest players falling. Was that enough to capitulate the market? And is it now time to go in for that retracement? That's how I place my bets. We're at the 30-day mark. We'll see if contagion continues. But I thought this would be interesting to show how correlated we've been to the stock market, how we've now reached that 30-day moment of when contagion continued in crypto last time after Luna and UST collapsed, but also... When that moment did happen with the additional contagion, we were seeing the same thing happening in the stock market where the stock market was gapping down with 500 to 900 point losses every day. So is it a fair comparison to say it was contagion or it was due to the stock market? That's the big nuance of that. And I think a lot of people may not have been thinking about it in that light. I think a lot of us, including me, have been sitting there saying, you know, when we saw this happen last time, there was contagion that came in later. Now we're reaching that moment. Probably a lot of people placing bets one way or another on if contagion will happen or if it won't and if we're at that point of it breaking down. But if everybody is making their opinions based on specifically just 30 days passing, contagion happening because it happened last time, I just wanted to show that there was something else happening in the market at the exact same time with the Dow Jones and how correlated we've been to the Dow all year long. And there was a massive thing happening in the Dow at the time when this occurred in the contagion spread in crypto. We were also doing what the market was doing in the Dow. However, right now, there's a decorrelation. So there's a massive curveball thrown in there because not only is there a decorrelation in here, there's been this big turnaround happening over here in the DXY. So just an absolutely crazy time right now. And I'm sure like in a month or two, we're going to look back on this and say there was some type of signal here. There was some type of message being told to us by the market with the DXY reversing and this decorrelation happening here at this time. There was some message being sent by the market. And like a month or two from now, we'll know what that was. But what we know is the element of what is happening here is not the same as the element that happened here when we perceived it to be contagion, it was actually a continuation with gaps down all week long for the Dow Jones at the same time. The Dow Jones has continued up where Bitcoin went and set a new low. We've done the polar opposite of the Dow for the first time in 2022. So just wanted to point all of that out. We'll, we'll build theories and work on that as time comes. But I think we're all trying to kind of navigate the dark after this whole FTX collapse has happened. And this kind of turns a little bit of a light on. And the question is now, Will we go play catch up to the stock market? And is that the signal that's being given by all of this? So over the course of the next several weeks, I'll be spending a whole lot more time looking into this on my own. If I find interesting things to share, of course, I'll share them here on the channel as I always do. And whether or not the proper con conclusion can be drawn from the data that was presented in this video, I think it was eye-opening to see how correlated we have been to the stock market, how we have decorrelated from the stock market right now, and how when the contagion occurred back in June of earlier this year with Celsius and Three Arrows Capital, it actually occurred at the same time as the stock market was gapping down that week. So as we reach this 30-day mark of the FTX collapse, the question is, will contagion emerge? But at the same time, was it even contagion that caused it in the first place? Or was it a correlation to the stock market? And that's for each to decide on their own. And hopefully, this got the wheels turning in a lot of people to maybe be able to find those answers. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. I've got a busy day this afternoon. My wife and I are going to be working on figuring out live stream stuff here for the YouTube channel and trying to make something kind of fun for Fridays moving forward. So I don't think we're going to have a live stream tomorrow, but I'm like really working on something so that we can kind of have like light, tight and bright Fridays where we do live streams and have a good time. So we're going to kind of figure out what kind of equipment we need to be able to do something like that and do a lot of brainstorming today to kind of get that ball, ball rolling. So otherwise, I will catch you guys tomorrow. I want to thank you so much for watching. 
If you could, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you could be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor, but if you ever need a pick me up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.